Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about this lead code problem. Check if array pairs are divisible by k. That is, given an array, we have to find that whether we have the pair in an array which is divisible by k and number of pairs should be equal to size of array by 2. For example, if we have this array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, its size is 6. <coughs> so we have to first check that we have three we should have the three pairs and <coughs> condition for pair is that the pair sum should be divided by k that is seven so if you check here one and six two and five three and four all these three pairs are divisible by seven and the number of pairs is <coughs> number of pairs is uh, three that is si size by two sorry okay so uh, <coughs> we some might be thinking that we can take a hash table approach where we can just push the number on a hash table and then we can find the uh, number by differencing and then so finding it in the hash entry but that will not work here <coughs> so I'll just show you how I have solved the problem <coughs> So for this problem, we have to take a frequency array. So what is a frequency array? Let's suppose I have taken an array, this one, 2, 63, 3 and so on and, um, and the integer k is 5. So we have to build a frequency array here. That is, we have to take an array which is of size equal to the size of k. Then we have to divide each entry in an array with the integer k. Now what happens is, uh, <clears throat> when we divide 2 with k that is 5 we have to note the remainder so in this case when we divide 2 by 5 the remainder comes out to be 2 so we will increment one uh, count on index 2 of the frequency array so what happens here is I have just done it here 2 by 5 is 2 so at index 2 of the frequency array I have incremented the count as 1 so for so on for 72 because the remainder of 72 by 5 that is 72 mod 5 this is this should be mod 5 rather is 2 so in this case again uh, the uh, the count is I'll, I'll increment whatever number is present in the frequency area by 1 so it will becomes 2 so for uh, these four numbers the mod of 5 that is 63 mod 5 is 3 3 mod 5 is 3 and so on so it should be uh, the frequency array uh, its count is 4 so finally i have this frequency array the so this frequency array, so let's understand this frequency array what uh, what this frequency array tells us so if we have at index i equal to 0 if we have uh, a even pair that is let's suppose at index i equal to 0 I have 10 so it means what we have 10 numbers which are exactly divisible by 5 so that means it might be 5 10 20 30 40 50 and so on so if it is a even number that means we have pairs if it is an odd number that means we do not have pair so first check what we will do is that at index 0 if we have a even number that means we have pairs and that is fine so we will increment the count of pairs by the number present in index 0 divided by 2 number of pairs is divided by 2 now uh, we will check from index 1 and index 4 so if these indexes the entries present at these indexes are equal that means we have equal number of pairs so for example let, let us take a case that if we have entry 6 it will make uh, one entry at in the frequency array that is 6 mod 5 is 1 so I'll made it make it 1 and if we have a entry 4 so it will again it will make an entry at index 4 because or if we have 14 let's suppose we have 6 and 14 so what happens is uh, 14 mod 5 is 4 so I'll make it entry here so 6 and 4 14 makes one pair that's how we are judging but now if we think that 6 and if we have some entry here that is 
18 6 and 18 doesn't make a pair which is divisible by 5 so we have to consider these two entries last these two entries right and so on we have to come inside and then check so wherever we find that number of the sum uh, is not equal or maybe we can just check it that sum is not uh, a even number then we can just return one so this is the code logic here <coughs> i have taken array initialized to zero size is same as the incoming k that is integer then i have uh, created a frequency array this the logic of creating a frequency array is simple i have taken a mod of incoming number with the k now th what can be the case this can be a negative number so in this case i'll the mod with k will be lesser than the td that is k and then i'll add k and then again do a mod with td and then i'll increment it because if uh, we do not add this the mod will be negative and it will lead to a memory corruption then in third case i'm just checking that <coughs> there is an there is an even number present in index 0 and then finally here from index 1 till last i'm just checking that these two things that is the first and the fourth are equal then second and third are equal if they are not i'll just return 0 otherwise i'll return 1 so this is a logic thank you have a good day